Uh, when I first started playing golf, I didn't, I didn't foresee this far into the future where we would be at today. Uh, don't get me wrong, I play, I've played golf all my life. I spent 30 plus years in the Marine Corps. I spent a lot of time in the Far East. Uh, I play golf in Philippines. I play golf in Japan, Okinawa, you name it, except for the for a little place called Vietnam. I did not play golf there. Frank mentioned that you uh, you served together with Marines. Yeah. Infantry, 141st Regiment. I know you hear this all the time, but thank you for your service. Uh, well, I don't I don't hear that all the time, but I was proud to serve my country. I don't want to be a member of just any club. I want to play here. I got to consider our other members, and they are just not used to seeing a Mexican on the golf course. It was an important story, I thought, when it was brought to me. It was it was kind of right after the George Floyd uh, incident, and the whole the whole world was talking about important race issues, and uh, most of the conversations were around the black community, which I thought was super important. But then at the Latino community was something that maybe we weren't talking a lot about, and I felt like maybe it was an opportunity to explore that subject. You know, that's just life. Sometimes you land on the green, sometimes you're in the bunker, but you always play it as it lies. I play a, a, a guy named Pollo, and he's a, a World War I vet who got shell-shocked, and he works at the country club. And he and he's a, a, kind of the loony uh, that wears a cage everywhere he goes. Probably to the script, I had never even heard of the story, which is kind of interesting. You know, it's like there's, there's a, a, a lot of stories um, or, or moments in history where the Latin community, the Mexican-American community, the Cuban-American, all these different uh, uh, communities are, are kind of left out of the, the history books, uh, whether it's uh, about World War II or, or any, any of the other wars or just in general. So I feel like, you know, it's kind of incumbent upon us to tell those stories and, and uh, find them and, and, and do twist people's money. Uh, arms to give us the money to make the movies. <laughs> My hope would be that maybe this story would give everybody something that we all can look at and and all remember things that maybe we agreed upon at some point in time and and uh, and maybe just uh, provide a small way forward for us to, to be a little bit more united as a country and, and as a culture. That would that would be the most important aspect for me.